Moses in the house. Oh. Terrence Howard here. You made huge headlines when you said, after you complete these 15 episodes of Empire, you got to walk away for a while or forever? For good. I'm, I'm, I mean, everyone keeps trying to tell me, don't say it's forever. But I've spent 37 years pretending to be people so that people can pretend to watch and enjoy what I'm doing when I've made some discoveries in my own personal life with the science that you know, Pythagoras was searching for. I was able to open up the flower of life properly and find the real wave conjugations that we've been looking for for 10,000 years. Why would I continue, you know, walking on water for tips when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world? That, that's a big remark. Yeah. What, what, what do you intend to, to do? Well, let me put it this way. All energy in the universe is expressed in motion. All motion is expressed in waves. All waves are curved. So where does the straight lines come from to make the platonic solids? There are no straight lines. So when I took the flower of life and opened it properly, I found a whole new wave conjugations that expose the in-between spaces. That's, it's the thing that holds us all together. The physical world ever moves in a straight line, not a bullet shooting, not lightning coming down out of the sky. Everything is a coil, even a photon coming from a distant star moving in relativity. Our body is called this mortal coil. Our DNA is a coil, and it's no coincidence that matches our equation perfectly. This pyramid is representative of what we call flux fields. We have electricity at the center of electricity is magnetism. At the center of magnetism is a flux. Higher dimensional energy known by many names such as dark energy, tachyons, monopoles, gravitons. We call it etheron energy. But we have the secret that connects all of the world's technologies together, numbers. We discovered that numbers are real, a living language, a jigsaw puzzle that when pieced together no longer creates a rendition or approximation of reality. Numbers are reality. Neither flat, nor arbitrary, nor imaginary, nor irrational. There are actually points or locations that fold out into a 3D shape defining space and time, literally. When you look at this symbol, you immediately see it's composed of two aspects. One is this lazy eight for the infinity symbol, and the other is the red pyramid at the top. The infinity symbol is the equation for the physical world we live in. It's a circuit or a pathway of motion. Six numbers that form a hexagon. Thus, such diverse phenomena as light polarizing, beehive, Saturn's north pole, snowflakes are all versions of this hexagon. These shapes form pathways for any matter in motion, which is never straight, but always at an angle. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy. Frequency, let me explain. Let's start from one. Doubled it is two. Two doubled it is four. Four doubled is eight. 8 doubled is 16, which means 1 plus 6, that equals to 7. 16 doubled is 32, resulting in 3 plus 2 equals 5. You can do 7 doubled, if you want, to which you would get 14, resulting in 5. 32 doubled is 64, resulting in total of 1. So if we continue, we will keep following the same pattern. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, etc. over and over. As you can see, there is no mention of 3, 6, and 9. It's like they are beyond this pattern, free from it. However, there is something strange once you start doubling them. 3 doubled is 6, 6 doubled is 12, which would result in 3. Add 1 and 2 and you get 3. In this pattern, there is no mention of 9. It's like 9 is beyond, completely free from both patterns. But if you start doubling 9, it will always result in 9. This is called the symbol of enlightenment. If we go to the Great Pyramid of Giza, not only are there three larger pyramids at Giza, all side by side, mirroring the positions of the stars in Orion's belt, but we also see a group of three smaller pyramids, immediately away from the three larger pyramids. We find lots of evidence that nature uses threefold and sixfold symmetry. These shapes are in nature, 
and the ancients emulated these shapes in the building of their sacred architecture. Is it possible that Tesla uncovered this profound secret 